Welcome to Knowledge Pond YouTube channel. In this video, I would like to share Angular interview questions and answers. So let me start with what is an Angular? Angular is a front-end framework for building client applications in HTML and using either JavaScript or a programming language like TypeScript that compiles to JavaScript. The framework consists of several libraries, some of them are core and some are optional. Why Angular? Developing web application using JavaScript and jQuery is very difficult. So Angular comes with front-end framework and set of reusable libraries. And it provides the structure way of developing application by incorporating object-oriented features with the help of TypeScript language. So it is easy to understand and easy to maintain and test the application. Advantages of Angular so Built by Google, it is developed as well as maintained by the dedicated Google engineers. So that means there is a huge community out there for learn from. The Angular is um, front-end comprehensive application framework for rapid application development and it is easier and uh, lighter and faster it is built with the purpose of creating faster performance applications that are smaller in size and easier to develop it uses the typescript language for application development and uh, it also supports for unit testing and uh, unit testing is ready and it is its most compelling features and the advantages of the angular so what are the building blocks of Angular? The modules, components, directories, templates, metadata, pipes and filters, routing, services, forms, data binding, dependency injection. So let me go through each one. So what is the module? The modules are greater like great way to organize an application and extend it with capabilities from external libraries. Angular module is a collection of components, directories, pipes, making some of them public through the exports the property so that external components can use them. So what is a component? A component is one of the building block in Angular. A component is technically a directory, but the components are so distinctive and central to Angular application that Angular defines at the rate of component directories. So what is the directive? The directive decorator allows us to mark a class as an Angular directive and provides the additional metadata that determines how the directives should be processed, instantiated and used at runtime. We have built-in directives like ngif, ng4, ngswitch. So what is a template? A template combines the ordinary HTML with Angular directories and uh, binding markup that allow Angular to modify the HTML before rendering it for display. So what is the metadata? The metadata is used to decorate a class so that it can configure the expected behavior of the class. So different parts of the metadata, the annotations and the parameters. So annotations, these are the decorators at the class level. Uh, this is array and an example having the both at the rate of component and at the rate of router component, router decorator. The parameters, this is set up, set by the direct decorators at the constructor level. The at the rate of environment is the metadata applied to the property. So what is the pipes? The pipes are used to transform the data when we only need the data transformed in a template. A pipe takes the data as input and transforms it to the desired output. So what is the routing? The Angular router enables navigating from one view to the next as user performs application tasks. The routing basically means of navigating between the pages. 
Now, what is a service? An Angular service are singleton objects which get instantiated only once during the lifetime of an application. Services contain the methods that maintain the data throughout the life of the application. So what is the forms? Forms are almost always present in any application. Forms are an essential part of many web applications being the most common way to enter and edit the text-based data. Angular supports two types of the forms. One is the template driven forms, the simple forms that can be made rather quickly. The second is reactive forms. Angular reactive forms, also known as model driven forms, offers an easy way to use reactive patterns and validations. So what is the data binding? Data, bi data binding is the core concept in Angular and allow us to define the communication between the components and the DOM. So there are four forms of the data binding. One is the interpolation, the property binding, event binding, two-way data binding. So what is the dependency injection? Dependency injection or DI is a software design pattern that deals with how components get hold of their dependencies. It is a way to create objects that depend upon other objects. So dependency injection system supplies the dependent object when it creates an, an instance of the object. So what is the TypeScript? The TypeScript is an open source programming language and uh, developed and maintained by the Microsoft. So it is a superset of JavaScript and adds optional static typing to the language. So how can we write and run the app Angular applications? So we can write Angular application by composing HTML templates with Angularized markup. And once you write the component classes to manage the templates and adding the application logic in services and boxing the components and services into module, then we launch the application by bootstrapping the root module. Then Angular takes over and presenting our application content into a browser and responding, responding to user interaction according to the instructions we provided. So what is the compiling? The compiling is the general term for taking the source code written in one language and transforming into another. So what is the transpiling? The transpiling is the process of converting our TypeScript code into JavaScript by using Tracer or JS compiler. So what is the JIT and AOT compilation? Angular compiles the components to native JavaScript and HTML. There are two types of compilation. One is the AOT or ahead of time and second is the JIT just in time. In case of J AOT, the application is compiled and optimized at the build time instead of runtime. So this improves the rendering of the application UI. This approach should be used in the production builds. In case of JIT, the application happens, compilation happens on the user's browser at runtime. So what is the Tracer compiler? The Tracer compiler compiles ECMAScript edition 6 code on the fly to regular JavaScript to make compatibility for the browser. So what is the eager loading and lazy loading? Angular application is a collection of modules and components. There are two ways we can load the modules. So in case of eager module loading, loading the modules at the application startup. The lazy loading, loading the modules only when required. So what is a single page application? The spa applications are web applications that loads a single HTML page and dynamically update that page as the user interacts with the application. So what is the difference between the at the rate of input and at the rate of output? So when we need any communication between two components like parent and child, so we use at the rate of input and output are two decorators for that communication. So what are the lifecycle hooks? A component has a lifecycle managed by the Angular. 
So Angular creates it, render it, creates and render its children, checks it when it, its data bound properties changes and destroys it before removing it from the DOM. So Angular offers lifestyle looks that provide the visibility into these key life moments and ability to act when they occur. So a directive has same set of lifecycle hooks. So we do have like um, ng on changes, ng on init, ng do check, ng after content init, ng after content checked, ng after view init, ng after view checked, ng on destroy. So these are the sequence of the lifecycle hooks. So what exactly the reactive programming or async call? The reactive programming is a synchronous programming paradigm concerned with data streams and the propagation of changes. So what is observable? Observable provides a support for passing messages between the publisher and the subscriber into an application. It provides the significant benefits over other techniques for event handling asynchronous programming and handling multiple values. So what are the RxJS? What are what is the RxJX? RxJX provides an implementation of observable types and uh, it is a set of library for reactive programming using observable that makes it easier to compose asynchronous or callback based on the based on this code. So how can we provide security in Angular? Security means any web application in two forms, either authentication or authorization. So authentication, the user logs credentials are passed to the authenticated API. On the server side, validate the credential happens and JSON web token is written. So when JSON web token is, is a JavaScript object that has some information or attribute about the current user. Once the JWT is given to the client, the client or user will identify it with that JWT. Authorization. After logging in successfully, the authenticated or genuine user does not have access to everything. The user is not authorized to access some else data and he, she, or, he or she is authorized to access some data. So what is the JWT, the JSON Web Token? is an open standard and is used for securely transmitting information between the parties as a JSON object. There are some there are some scenarios where we can use for JSON token like as we discussed earlier authentication or information exchanges. So what is the interceptors? Interceptors are used to intercept outgoing requests or incoming responses. So this can be really useful for features like caching and logging. So web application security risks. What are the different security risks we can face it? So injection attacks, broker authentication and session management, XSS uh, like cross-site scripting, insecure direct object references, security misconfiguration, sensitive data exposure, missing function level access controller, CSRF using component that pass the vulnerabilities, so invalidated redirects or forwarders. So what exactly the state management? So as a requirement for JavaScript single page application have becomes increasingly complicated so our code must be managed more state than ever before. So this state can include the server responses or cache data as well as the locally created data that has not yet been persisted to the server. Like UI state is also creating in complexity as we need to manage the active routes, selected tabs, spinners, pagination control and so on. Managing this ever changing state is hard. If the model can update another model or then view can update a model which updates another model and this in turn might cause another view to update. So at some point we no longer understand what happens in our application as we have to lose the control over them. So so we, we keep the state and so we need to maintain the state of 
all these changes. So that's we call it a state management. So what is the Redex? Redex is a library which helps us to maintain the state of the application. So what exactly the Angular cookie? A cookie is a small piece of data sent from the website and stored on the user's mission by user's web browser while the user is browsing. Cookie persists across the multiple requests and browser sessions. Should we send them to the end, they can be a greater method for authentication in some web applications. So what is Angular material? Angular material is a UI component library for Angular developers. Angular material components help us constructing attractive, consist and functional web pages and web applications while adhering to modern web design principles like browser portability, device independency and graceful degradation. So what is a bootstrap? Bootstrap is the most popular HTML, CSS, JavaScript framework for developing a responsive mobile first web applications. What are the de different development IDs? We have Visual Studio Code, Visual Studio Express or here, Atom, Subtext, WebStorm. So what is ECMAScript? ECMAScript is a scripting language which is developed by ECMA International Organization. So what is a package.json? This file contains information about Angular projects and the following are the typical settings in the file like uh, we, we have all settings like uh, what are the packages we installed, what are the type, different versions of the packages and uh, TypeScript information, JavaScript like um, Angular information and uh, this info by using this information and uh, NPM to identify to install the corresponding package to this current application. So what exactly the CLI? The Angular CLI is a command line interface to scaffold or build Angular application using the Node.js style. It is a command line tool for creating the Angular application. So what are the Angular CLI commands? ng-new for creating new project, ng-serve for running the project, ng-generate for generating components, directories and services ng test for run the testing so what is a node.js node.js is open source cross platform javascript runtime environment that execute javascript code on the server side so what is npm npm is the node package manager is a package manager for javascript and the world largest software registry so what are the npm commands? We do have install, build, rebuild, start, restart, stop, uninstall, update or version. So what are the different types of testings we can do in Angular? An Angular project is made of modules, components, templates and services. They all run inside what known as the Angular environment. So we can test an Angular application in two ways like unit testing or end-to-end -end testing. So what are the tools for testing? We do have Karma for um, unit testing and Jasmine and Protractor. So if you like this video and uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you would get latest updates. Thank you very much for watching this.